My practice, because of the Zimmerman case and the after math, I hate to say it like that, um, has helped my practice without question. I can't deny that. Um, the idea of having a high profile case in and of itself, I think, helps your case because people know you. Mm -hmm. Now, I will tell you that that notoriety or publicity is both a blessing and a curse, obviously. I get a, a, an enormous number of phone calls of people who want me to help. And because of my success in the Zimmerman case, believe that I can help their mother, father, sister, brother, uncle, and cousin get them out of prison, even though they've been there for 20 years, let's say, and I can do it all for free. Or I can get a legal defense fund and that'll take care of everything. So there's a lot of what you might call chaff along with the wheat. And the wheat is I do get better cases because people now have seen, it sounds egoist, but they've seen me in action. No regrets about taking the case. No regrets about um, it becoming the enormity that I didn't realize it was going to become and staying with it. I mean, literally, uh, no exaggeration, and, and we have the, you know, the records to prove it. I, I was working 40 hours a week on that case minimum and another 30 or 40 hours a week on my regular practice because I had to keep my regular practice alive. You know, the case wasn't paying anything, and actually we were using some of the overhead and whatnot to take care of the case. So I had to keep all my staff, you know, happy and employed and paid. Um, so I was working literally, no exaggeration, 70, 75 hours a week. I think I took four days off in all of 2013. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, just before Christmas, you know, I, 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 you know, I spent not every day with him, but many, many, many days with George because he was very involved in the, this, the defense process. And you get to know a guy, and you get to know a guy um, who is really was a good guy back on February 20, or February, January of 2012, before any of this happened. Uh, anyone who would come upon George you know, on the street was just thinking to be a nice, easygoing guy. That's the guy that I sort of got to know and watched him you know, get sort of turned into this semi-celebrity, um, hated man in America, loved man in America. That does a lot to anybody. Um, and, you know, and we watched all that and certainly got close to him. We spent a lot of time together. Um, but, you know, he's, you know, he's hopefully just chilling back and taking it easy and trying to enjoy what is now the after effects of what's happened to him through this whole process. Well, I don't know. George acknowledges a debt to Don and I for the work that we've done. He's never denied that. And, you know, we understand that he doesn't have that type of money. If, if we were in it for the money in the first day, we wouldn't have been in it because there wasn't any money. Um, but, you know, if things go well for George, as I certainly hope they do, then I think he'll acknowledge the debt and we'll figure something out.